So guys, what would you say if I told you that Microsoft broke something? Actually, you'd probably believe me, so I don't, you know, know why I put it out there so surprisingly like, like that. Yes, it's true. Microsoft broke something. So again, if you have the KB that's popping up on the screen right now, it is a recent preview update for Microsoft. KB5067036. If you have that, you may be affected by this. Um, some people are affected by it. Some people aren't. So I'll show you how to check if you are. Um, so first of all, let's go in and see if you have that update. So we're just going to click on start. Just type updates here. Check for updates. And update history. And sure enough, there it is. So it is a preview update. This one here. Let me show you what it broke. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because we're going to pop back into here. Go ahead and open up your task manager by clicking the bottom uh, taskbar and going task manager. Now, here's the problem, guys. Here's what it broke. We are in task manager and you see the task manager app running here. Perfectly normal. Nothing wrong with that. Shows one instance, everything good and golden. Problem is we click up in here and we search for task manager. Look at all of these instances of this running in the background. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not where the problem stops, guys. Let's go ahead and close this. We had six. Go ahead and open it back up. Again, we only see one running here. But if we type it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem is every time you close this with the X, it continues to run in the background. And it is this goofy preview update that broke it. Um, Microsoft, um, I believe they have said that they are aware this is broken and maybe they're working on it. Um, so we'll see. But look here, guys, like it might not seem like a big deal. If you have a ton of memory, fine, but sometimes people don't. Look at this. I mean, taking up 36.4 meg, 23, 24, 4, 22, 1. And so on. If you're a power user or somebody in and out of task manager, after a while, this is going to add up. And if you don't reboot your computer, you know, every day or anything like this, this could become a problem potentially. Um, and you might not even know about it until now. So let me show you how we can. It's not really a way to fix it, it's kind of temporary. So my recommendation is you can go in here to each one and just right click and hit in task for each one. When you're about to leave task manager, you can do this and kill them all. Just remember that you're still going to have one running in the background, even when you close this out. So once you close this out, this one's going to be now running in the background and they'll pile up again. So, couple of things we can do about this until Microsoft gets their act together. We can go ahead and close this. And one thing I recommend here, what I'm telling people, if we go, is this our updates? You can go in here and uninstall this update. It's only a preview update. You don't even have to install preview updates. They're completely optional. Um, so I would get rid of this. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Scroll down here to um, update. Sorry, uninstall updates. And you see it right here. Update for Microsoft 506-7931. No, that's not the one. It's this one. 506-7036. From here, you can click on uninstall. Now, I've heard from a couple people. They say they don't have an uninstall here. If you have an uninstall here, go ahead and click uninstall. Let it do its thing. Reboot the machine. If you don't, I'll show you a command prompt trick. So open up your command prompt. And... Just for sake of argument, we're going to run this in admin mode. And when you get here, you're going to type WUSA, which is Windows Update Standalone Installer Tool. You're going to type WUSA space slash uninstall space slash and then the KB number. We're just going to do KB colon. And in this instance, we're going to do 506-7036. And, whoops, error, that's a colon right there. All right, so once you do that, you're going to hit enter. 
and it's going to pop this up as, hey, do you want to uninstall this? It's safe to uninstall. Preview update. And we're just going to go ahead and hit yes. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you something else, guys. If you click here, type in Winver for Windows version. You want to look at this. If you have 25H2 and you were given this OS build with your last update, it's the 26200.7019 build. Um, there's been some stuff I've read that also says 26100.7019 is affected as well. So make sure you have that as well. It doesn't matter if you have this preview update. Um, I think even this OS build, if that's different, it has to do with it. Uh, but I'm not real sure on that. Uh, but I would get rid of this anyway. It's a preview update. It's not needed. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to hit yes. We're going to get rid of that shenaniganery. And then, guys, once that is uninstalled, um, you should not have that issue anymore. Um, if, if you do, you're just going to have to go in and wait until Microsoft fixes the issue. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, I'm always wanting to let you guys know when Microsoft messed up. It seems to be like quite a bit lately uh, with different things. So if you like this, if it was helpful, go ahead and click the like. And think about subscribing to me, guys. I've always got different content like this. Thanks.